So there's one last item that I want to unlock from the Slayer reward shop and that is one of the recolors for the Slayer helmet. The reason for this is because this is the last one that I need and once it is unlocked we can go ahead and slay the Calphite Queen for her head. Now before unlocking this final reward I do have to finish my current task that I have and I gotta say this is one of the most fearsome creatures in all of Gilinar. Wait, that's not who I was talking about. I think the creature I'm looking for is over there. Alright, cool. First kill. Didn't die. That's all. Oh, okay, you can still step on the fire. Well, that's great. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's really not good. I still got hit. Onyx Bolt, okay, I'll take it. Nice drop. Also got some sharks. That's a pretty hefty drop, 378k. I will take it. Now luckily it only took a couple kills to get used to killing Hydra once again. After some short time we were pros at being able to count to three again. I was thinking of getting the uh, Ring of the Gods since prayer bonus is very important here. But it's just too damn expensive. It's like 25 mil right now. I don't think I'm going to spend that much money just for that one item. So instead I just brought the Ring of Suffering and turned off the recoil effect. It is minus 4 prayer bonus compared to the Ring of the Gods imbued. But I mean, for 25 mil it's not... I don't mind. The same thing can be said for the Crystal Armor. But I mean, for the same reason that I don't want to buy the Ring of Suffering. I mean, Ring of the Gods. That's why I'm also not buying the Crystal Armor. If I was camping here for a long time, then maybe, but I'm not going to be, so yeah, I don't think it's worth it for me. Okay, more shark drops. I'll take it. It's my first trip here, so I'll take all the food that I can get. As much as I love the Hydra, uh, hopefully this is the only task we get for the remaining points that I need, because these tasks are very long. It's kind of crazy to think about it that way, because I remember when this boss first came out, Man, I spent so many points trying to get the uh, Hydra task. And now it's like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I mean, I think the only reason why I want to do it is because it is still good money. And I'm also missing the Hydra Claw, which would be a very nice unique to get. Dragon Longsword. Okay. Very iconic weapon. I'm just going to high it. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky that I got the uh, Hydra Pet when I did, or as early as I did. Because I don't really feel like grinding to whatever the drop rate is. I think it's like 3,000. Also, having to get the points to skip and constantly get Hydra tests would be pretty annoying. Ooh, Mystic Robottom. And top. The Light Variant. What the hell? Why do I feel like that's lucky? It's not lucky, by the way. I checked, and it is only a 1 in 101 drop, and every single time you get the Mystic Rope Top Light, you also get the bottoms with it. So, yeah, it wasn't as lucky as I thought. Ooh, a Dragon Med Helm. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Yo, actually, not gonna lie, that looks kinda sick. That actually looks pretty cool. Might be some new fashion scape. Dragon Medhelm and... Oh, nice. Okay. Tell me I don't look like a champion in this setup. Ooh, more Onyx Bolts. Okay. 50 this time. Man, those are worth a lot. Two drops, 800k. Our first trip back to Hydra, 
in many many months i think it's been uh i want to say like five or six months it's been a while 29 kills for our first trip not bad i'll take it loot tracker says 3.37 mil but of course everything's going to be different uh because of some of the stuff i i guess didn't pick up or i used as supplies and of course the bones I didn't pick up all the bones. A lot of them were buried by the bone crusher. So yeah, that's not bad. 3.3 mil. 3.3 mil just from one trip of Hydra. Yeah, Hydra's crazy money. Hydra's actually crazy money. We still have 68 kills to go, so uh, let's go ahead and jump back in there. Oh, brimstone key. I forgot that I get those on the on a Konar task. Ooh, big drop. Okay. Hey, Hydra. Not the unique we're looking for, but I'll take it. It's too bad the uh, Brimstone Ring isn't worth much. I think it's like 3 mil right now. Loop half of key. Why not just give me the full key? You're giving me two full keys. Hey, another Brimstone key. Hey, another key. Alrighty. I think that's the last kill of this long trip. Let me go ahead and drop all this shark. Not bad. This trip netted us 5 mil. Along with the Hydra Eye, of course, and then the three Brimstone Keys. So, not bad at all. Making some decent money here. And it wouldn't be a proper video unless I disconnected at least once and died because of it. Now, before this, I was already experiencing lag spikes. It was pretty hard to do the fire skip because sometimes I had to do it early, sometimes later, and yeah, it eventually got me killed. And that is the last kill. What do we get? Oh, man. I saw the blue text and I was like, something good, please, please. <laughs> so no Hydra Claw yet. Alright, so since I'm going for points, I was debating whether I should go just Konar all the way, or if I should go for a lower level Slayer Master. I decided to go for a lower level Slayer Master just to get these points as fast as possible, because that Hydra task did take a while to complete. Now, I looked it up on the wiki and apparently the best one is the one in... Is this the right teleport? I think it's here in Canifus. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I've ever used this Slayer Master. I'm pretty sure my first Slayer task was with Vanica. I'm not sure if I've ever used uh, Maz... Mazchina... Mazkna, however you pronounce his name. He looks pretty cool, though. It's like a, a demon or something. I don't know. 67 Hill Giants. Okay. Yeah, these tasks should be pretty quickly. Or... Should be finished pretty quickly, so we'll see how long it takes us. Ooh, I got a... I got a key. Where is it? Giant key. I'll hold on to that. I might have to change my block list soon, because I noticed that I had a bunch of uh, tasks blocked that are actually pretty good tasks for money. Uh, I think I blocked them, though, back when Hydra was released to get a better chance of getting Hydra, so I blocked a bunch of heavy-weighted tasks. But after I get these points, I will most likely unblock some of those. Uh, I know Cave Kraken was blocked on there. Uh, Abyssal Demons was blocked. And I think maybe even uh, Black Demons were blocked. So yeah, I might remove those afterwards. And just like that, we are done with our task. That was very, very fast. We only get two points. So yeah, definitely not worth it. But we are super close to 600. So that's what we're going for. I just have to remember not to do the 600th task with the same Slayer Master. Alright, next task is 65 Earth Warriors. I think the last time I was here, uh, I was grinding out the Champion's Cape. Which, if you haven't seen that series already, you should probably check it out. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Got pretty lucky at some places, but also pretty unlucky at some other places. Now, if I remember correctly, these Earth Warriors do drop some good drops. I think they dropped some rare seeds. Like Snapdragons and Ranars. 
and that is the earth warrior task completed next up 49 lizards oh these drop grimy ran weeds too mystic gloves light what the heck okay I, I'm, I'm gonna have to check the drop table for these things oh yeah it's from a desert lizard it's a one in 512 drop nice i'm glad my rng is being used here at the lizards that's that's a great for a 5k item. Alrighty, there is the lizard task complete. Next task is 13. Oh, I love that. Only 13? That's awesome. It's gonna be another fast one. And just like that, another task completed. If we can get another task like that, that would be perfect. 65 ghosts. Okay, that's not bad. I have an idea of where I wanna kill these. We are going to the death altar to protect all of the rune crafters that are there from the ghosts. Yeah, I remember there being ghosts here. This is pretty cool. Probably not the most efficient place to kill them, but uh, at least we'll be able to see people craft some death runes, which is always exciting, right? Yeah, this is definitely not the best place to do it. I wonder if I'm the first player to kill or to do a slayer task here, because this does not seem efficient whatsoever. Wait, I can't even come over here. Wait, can I? Wait, what? Can you not enter that area? Can I still attack him? Nope. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. Okay, I didn't know that. I was not aware of that. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I'm already out of stamina. I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm sorry. We tried. I think the last time I've been here was back in Twisted League. It's also multi here, so I can tag all of them. And just keep auto retaliate on. Oh, this is much better. Yeah, as you can see, I haven't really done much post-99 Slayer. I do plan on doing it though. Definitely for uh, some money making. Also doing some bossing with a Slayer helmet would be nice. By the way, if you're looking for a monster to kill for GP, definitely don't kill ghosts because they drop literally nothing. Oh, I think we just finished it. 597 tasks and for task 598 we will get 16 ghoul perfect that's exactly what i wanted all right that is another ghoul task complete let's go get our final task uh 48 pyre fiends okay we can do that you're telling me a fire demon a demon made of fire can be venomed by the blowpipe no wonder this thing is so op and this task flew by just like all the other ones that is task 599 complete. We can now go get, go get our last task from Konar. 123 Hellhounds in the Karum Slayer dungeon. We couldn't have gotten a more boring task. <laughs> oh, we can look down there. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. This task will take a little bit of time, but not as much as some other ones, so... I guess that's good. But don't worry, with a little bit of runescape magic, we can quickly skip and do 121 Hellhounds in less than a sec. And just like that, we are done with our final task. See, that was really, really fast. And you only need 99 magic to do that. Unfortunately though, 99 magic can't change the uh, bad drop table that the Hellhounds have. So yeah, all we got was bones. Now we can finally go and unlock the last thing that I wanted to unlock. The last unlock for 1,000 points, and that, whoops, I did not mean to get another task, but that's an easy one whenever I do decide to do Slayer again. Rewards. The last thing I wanted to get was the Cow Fight Cat, I guess, K-Hat. 1,000 points for the Recolor. I believe that is the last Slayer helmet that I'm missing. I think the first one was the black one, and then it was the purple and then red, and then blue, and then Hydra, and then Slayer. Yeah, I think this is the order that I got them in. And my favorite, well, I do like the Twisted Slayer Helm. That's pretty cool. I like the horns. But before that, uh, definitely Hydra, since it was unique. Although I didn't get to use this one for very long, because by the time I got the Alchemical Hydra Heads, the Twisted Slayer Helmet had come out. So didn't get to use it for a long time, but this one is pretty cool too. And then as far as these four go, in terms of colors, they're all pretty cool, depending on what I'm wearing. But, um, 
I think I like the red one the best, maybe. Or the purple one. Purple one that's pretty cool. They're all they're all cool. I like all of them. Now, as for the loot from this entire video, really it was only the alchemical hydra that we got good money from. We made over 10 mil from that, so that was pretty nice. And that was from 97 kills. Uh, because I had already done some of the kills before that. I think it was on the regular hydras, which was a, a previous video that I made. Um, as for like the hill giants and the earth warriors and all the other celery tasks we got, there really wasn't anything I picked up except for the grimy ranar weeds. I think I picked up like two of those. And then of course the uh, mystic gloves of light, which were like a really rare drop. So yeah, didn't get the hydro claw, but we did get some pretty nice mystic gloves, which it should be here. Yeah, they're right here. Pretty nice. Oh, wow. They actually look kind of cool. I dig it. The next video is most likely going to be Twisted, not Twisted League, Trailblazer League. I am going to give it a shot. I don't know how hard yet I'm going to go on the Trailblazer League. Don't know how much time I'm going to devote to it. But uh, if it's fun and exciting, then I'll, you know, I'll try my best to make uh, a lot of videos for that. So we'll see how it goes. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe even a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.